Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bad Advisor Repents which I see so in the previous episode we did uh, our very very last Greedy Emerd. A Greedy Emerd on every single character is done. We never have to touch it again. A joyous day of days. My good golly gosh. I know that we didn't do much greedier on YouTube, but as I said, I've said at nauseam now why that is. Anyways, let's get into our character randomizations and let's give it a go and see who we might get this time around. Lazarus to mother. Okay, let's give that a go, shall we? Let's give that a go. Again, I am working with the current Lazarus rework mod, not the official rework. Uh, there's a good chance by now when you're watching this that Lazarus has been somewhat reworked. It might be similar to this mod. It might be. It might not be. But honestly, I'm going to play it like this because I want to get the unlocks. Um, and I, I kind of, I took a while to wait and see and nothing really happened um, in terms of them bringing out a, do you know what? I'm going to restart. Um, I I don't want to restart, but I just realized I'm going to have to leave with the other guy because that's a combat room, which means that I'll uh, lose half a soul heart. And I can't really be doing that when we have two soul hearts. But anyways, yes. Um, and I kind of waited for a while to, to see if the update had come out before I started doing these unlocks. And honestly, it's it's not out yet. So I'm, I'm pretty close to dead god and I, I, I want to just go for it. So ooh, that could be nice. Um, I think we do flip here. I think we do flip. It's a bit of a weird one, but mainly for this reason specifically. I probably should have done it here because we probably can get a secret room here. In fact, I'm going to do it there any... I'm going to plop a bomb down there anyways. Um, we should be able to get the coins and the secret room. Yes, we indeed did. And now we got 15 cents, so shop might be pretty valuable. Um, no magic mush, unfortunately. But that's a pretty rare occurrence anyways. Let's pop the pill. Range up is so good. Something that I never knew um, about this character or something that I'd never really clocked onto is this guy starts with insanely low range as compared to most other characters. Like, that's probably his biggest downside. So it's actually quite nice to... Um, it's quite nice to, to see here that we're starting with a bit bit extra. But yes, this is, um, this is just uh, Curse of the Unknown. So no no XL. Hopefully we can get an extra charge for uh, for flip here. Um, and I was just about to say hope we can get a key, and that has come to fruition already. So our shop here is going to be pretty valuable for us. I hope. Um, we might be able to use flip on the shop and get something extra. It really depends on what the charges we get. But the 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 fact that we have two double rooms here makes me um, makes me. Pretty hopeful that we will be able to use flip either on the shop or the boss, whichever we feel suits us most. Because if there's two items in the shop that are really, really good, then we're going to use it on shop. But boss for stats or HP for both characters is preferable, I think. It'd have to be some really good shop items, I think. Let's uh, let's have a little look, see what we got here. <sighs> um, It's not great. Because I think we definitely want to take 9 volts. But I'd rather have nine volt blue map than nine volt mum's purse. I've gotta, I've gotta be honest. Um, what I might do is I might just, um, I might just buy buy nine volt on you, and we'll keep flip for our boss fight and flip on the boss fight instead. Um, but yes, this increasing our range really, really nice. Herming really good on a one room charge as well. Very, very good. Um, should make for uh, a good little bonus to us here. And yeah, it now means flip will charge a little faster too, which I, I can never turn my nose apart. That's really, really useful, having flip charge a little bit faster. Uh, this monster doesn't really jump around too much. Shouldn't be too bad for us. But yeah, that range increase, really, really nice on a character that already has kind of low base range. So, And this is uh, by far... A very, very good flip to go for. And that's uh, more range there as well. So we've at least sorted the range on one of our characters here, which is pretty important. Now, we are going for Mother, so we can take our sweet, sweet time on this run. And I am exactly going to do that. Um, but yeah, this, this is definitely the character that I think we want to buff up most. The fact that he's basically got permanent herming now um, is really, really good. Really, really good indeed. Uh, this guy's going to be our sort of bomber. If we um, we de we definitely need a damage upgrade on this guy because we've got tears already. So we definitely need the next damage upgrade we find, if possible, we give to you. Um, but otherwise, we should be okay here. 
Uh, right. Good, good. We're coming out of this pretty well. Uh, secret room wise, I'm sort of thinking where it might be, but I'm not really seeing a specific spot that it could be in. Um, bit of a tough one, this. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to keep my charge and we're going to go. Let's uh, head on down to the normal path first and then over to Dross after. I think with a character like this, I want to take the easy route or like basically take it as easy as possible. Now, we do have to be careful. We do not have... Um, do you know what? I'm going to do that. We do not have any um, soul hearts on this character currently, so we really, really don't want to uh, get hit on this guy. Uh, we, we'd like to probably get to our shop before um, before anything else. But yes, as you can see now, this guy's just got permanent Hermie, which is just amazing. Okay, we might end up losing it here. Uh, we, we got a bit lucky. Holy sugar tits. Oh my god, no, no. That was bullshit. What did this dude do? Do you see him, like, take a weird turn there? He came up this way rather than going down. So, yeah, I was basically completely, like, ready for that to happen. I just knew it was going to happen. Um, don't want to go into our item room yet. But yeah, deal with the devil. We got verp. Okay, we just got double verp here. Uh, right. Let's get in here. I'm really hoping we get another key so we can go to the item room soon. Because I'd like to use flippin' immediately. In fact, I'm going to take a risk and just do it now. It's, it's a bit of a risk because it means we're starting the run if we get something bad. Honestly, neither of those are worth taking. So it doesn't matter. Uh, it's going to be very, very annoying now if we don't get a key, because that that would be a, a true absolute waste. Uh, so I really hope the game gives us one. Not yet. That was a very good character to get that on. Oh, that was close. God damn it. It's annoying how much stronger this guy is already. <laughs> and the fact that he gets soul hearts as well. Like, he doesn't, he's not going to lose the deal devil. But there you go. There's the key, at least. We could still get a devil deal here, but it's just not super likely now. Um, I don't think, at least... Especially if we get hit on the boss fight itself. Good, good. Good, good. And good, good. There's a little troll bomb for us. Thank you. I probably should try and push that. Uh, I'm going to go and um, flip characters over here. Ooh, hello. This is good. Might not have to flip now. Yeah, okay. We, d we don't have to flip now. But I actually still think it's preferable because it's going to mean we can kill the boss so much faster. I think walking back, doing a whole room to flip, to come back, to fight with the other character, is still going to be faster. <laughs> he does that much more uh, damage and just the ability to hit. Unfortunately, we have him to fight a mini boss anyways here. And that's without our, uh, our space bar item. Slightly annoying, but this guy shouldn't be too bad and he will give us a key. Or an active item. Yeah, there's, there's the key. So, keys are in a better spot now. And I think that means that we at least check for our shop to buy soul hearts. Uh, these Again, these characters, we've got to take every single advantage we can possibly get here. So, let's just go for it and see if we can get something going. There it is. Um, we don't really care that much about the item available, I don't think. Restock would be nice, but it's not necessary for success. Let's just go and we'll do our flippy dip dip, flippy dip dip. So yeah, I'm very, very glad that I got Herming on this guy. This guy is a pain in the ass. Keeping our distance from him with high range and Herming is going to be very, very nice. Especially with these heads, you can take them out very, very easily. And there you go. Destroyed. Um, So we are going to take... Actually, this is really good. You get the damage up, you needed the damage up, and you get the health, you needed the health. Really good. Now we go to this floor here. Don't forget to get our knife pieces um, as we go here. We've already got one bomb, so that's a really good start. And also, in technically, with the space barite we got on this character, we do have our second there and ready. And we do have a soul heart on this guy now, so and more damage. So hopefully losing our angel deal isn't quite as likely as uh, it was on the last floor. Right, take you out. Um, yes, this is going to recharge flips. I'm going to go for that. Maybe not the best idea, but oh well. Anyways, I'm... Yes, okay, this works out fantastically. Um, it worked out way better than I expected it to because we got the item room straight after I got the charge. I was worried that was going to be a bit of a waste, but... Okay, so... Everything jar... Everything jar's really good, but evil eyes not. 
And actually thinking about it, everything jar with this character and how slow it charges things isn't very good at all. So I'm going to take this and flip and take this. I realized that we're leaving that space bar item behind for Book of Secrets, but I kind of think Book of Secrets is better anyways. Um, yeah, I have to say that wasn't great. Wasn't a very good item room at all. Okay, you with Hermes is going to be really good against these little flies. Eesh, I knew you were going to hit me. Fucking die, you stupid flies. These things are... Ah, oh, God damn it. <laughs> Frustration. Uh, BFF. We don't have any current use for BFF. But that's not to say that we won't in the future, so... Ooh, this is Cast of the Maze is uh, a little annoying. Ooh, we do have a Tinted Rock here. That's really nice. Uh, we do only have two bombs currently, though. But do not open that yet. D dude, really? That got me? Oh, you're still alive? Slightly upsetting. Um, do this room as well. Oh, no. Why did I do this room? No. No, no, no. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. I don't want to do this room. I don't want to flip. Fuck me. Shit. Oh, well. That wasn't kind of accidental. Um, did, did our shop have any um, have any charges? No, we did not. Didn't think it did. Um, secret room-wise, we can't really find anything yet. Uh, let's go fight our boss now. Unfortunately, we have to fight him as this guy, which isn't bad, but we're only on half a soul heart of safety here for our angel deal, and the other guy literally can't lose angel deals at the minute, so I was really hoping... Well, he can, but he'd have to lose a lot of soul hearts. Uh, I was really hoping we could stay as him to give that safety. Especially considering this guy has less damage too, so it's going to take us even longer to kill. Just a lot less safe in pretty much every single way. Um, especially, goddamn, there's a lot of leeches here, dude. That's a lot of leeches. Holy fuck, you've unleashed them all as well. Unleashed them all. <laughs> I'm so funny. Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it, why did I have to mess up? This is so many leeches, sir. Calm yourself. Please don't jump rapidly everywhere. You fucking asshole. What did I just tell you? I, I'm i so annoyed that I accidentally flipped. Curse of the Maze got me confused. That's what I'm going to blame it on. 0.3% angel chance. Also, these leeches. Nope, no zero point. And we don't even have flip to get that either, which is very annoying. Um, I should have thought about that. It's okay, though, I guess. Right, um, let's go do our mirror realm. I'll definitely do that boss again, um, even though it's a bit risky. Right, where was our white fire again? It was over this way, I think. No, this way? Yes, there it is, there it is, there it is. Boom. Let's go get our knife piece going. We can easily get our knife piece here, which is good. Use this, of course. Evil Eye with the Herming might actually be pretty good. Uh, I'll take this pill. Range down, unfortunately pretty bad, considering this guy's range is already very sucky. Like, look at that. Not great. Oh, I almost walked into that little fly there. Oh, for, can Curse the Maze actually just stop? It's very annoying. Also, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is only one of these actually a ghost? Because this guy's not even, this guy doesn't even have flight. Or is that just visual? I'm a bit confused. <laughs> Are we still the ghost or what? Okay, you're still the ghost. Look up, nice. Burp into another look up. No more negative look, great. Well, that was a little strange. S sadly, we didn't gain any bombs from this so far. Really hoping we get some bomb drops. Wow. <laughs> Just back to back to back look upgrades. Okay, can we need to be the other character here. Even though this one is safer, I, I actually think the other one will be able to kill him much faster. Use the fire. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, even though this one's the lost, I actually think he's way safer. Just because of the herming and the, the, the insane damage we have. I won't say insane, but it's very, very good compared to our other character. I definitely call it insane in comparison. Yeah, we're killing leeches in a single hit, which is way better than two hits. Makes our life a lot easier. 
Can you hit him, please? There you go. Took ages to actually hit the boss then. And now we actually have flip, so we can get both here. So you definitely need the damage, and I definitely want the bombs, so it's worth flipping for this. Uh, and you can have that trinket as well. Okay, right, so we need to go back this way, back over, back through our mirror realm. Oopsie, wrong room. Now we have a lot of bombs, so we can do a few things here. One being that we can bomb that tinted rock. It's kind of unfortunate because I'd very much like to um, grab the soul hearts as the other character. And so, I know this is a bit stupid, but I'm going to see if I can flip by going in here. Because there's apparently another soul heart in here as well. Damn it, no combat. But God's sake, game. <laughs> this is kind of savage. Like... This feels so savage. Just, this guy's got so much HP and the other guy's got nothing because we can't flip as him. Little annoying. Oh, th those items just moved. Okay, that's that makes more sense. Let's bomb here. Can you fucking stop? For God's sake. <laughs> this is just mean. Um, where the hell is this golden chest? It keeps moving around. Curse of the Maze is messing with me. Oh my god, Curse of the Maze. Please, I just want to see the golden chest. Thank you. I can't get to them. That's all I wanted to know. Heckin' hell. Right. Now we need to go down. I am very apprehensive about our next floor. Because we could have had a lot of soul hearts if we'd had flip ready. But now we don't. Uh, so that's not good. We need to basically only fight hard rooms as this dude. But anyways, 67% angel chance. That that won't be sticking around for very long. I can I can basically promise you that. I can basically promise you that. Extra key, because this guy's on two red hearts right now. I mean he does have a lot better damage than he did prior, which is really nice. I still think he's in trouble though. Don't go into the item room yet. We need flip available first. Okay. So, again, we can't pick up that heart quite yet. We need to go and do another room first. Oh, thank you. Was not expecting that. Very kind. Very, very annoying room here. There you go. Uh, strength card. So, quickly go in here. We grab this. I don't think strength card really does much for us. We definitely want to go in here. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of Wonga. Um, right. We just got to really hope to not get hit here. And these enemies are not conducive to doing such a, such a high order. These enemies can hit me very, very easily. Hopefully they are dead. Okay, flips two charges off. Oh, I knew that was coming. This is such a hard room because you've basically got to sort of calculate where you want to be stood for when you, every enemy dies. I pop that. That's good to know. Another kind of hard room here. Just keep moving. Okay, got you. That's the hardest enemy in this room by far. Trying to save a bomb here if I can, but no. He didn't want to shoot. Emperor's kind of good here. Double wooden chest. Okay, they gave us all cards as well. Um, unfortunately, we've not really got anything here that we super care about. Bit of a shame. Right, let's go back to our item room. Get ready to flippity flip flop flip flop. Flippity flip flop flip flop. Flip flop. And we go. Um, right, we're getting a lot of actives, which is not great. Um... I think Fortune Cookie is better than Telepathy for Dummies. Telepathy for Dummies is really, really good, but this could give us soul hearts and cards and all sorts of stuff. So I think we grab you, we flip, sorry Telepathy for Dummies, but we flip, and then we grab Book of the Dead on you. Kind of annoying that we don't have Bookworm yet, considering we've sort of manhandled three different books, but they're all all over the place. Oh, wait. 
We've managed to somehow gain three items through this somehow. I'm not complaining. Uh, <laughs> we managed to gain additional items through this. Right, so be careful for our angel deal here. This guy's going to lob just an absurd amount of spiders at us in a moment. There you go. There's the spiders. Don't lob the doubles. Oh, for fuck's sake. I literally just said don't lob those. These guys are so hard to kill in, in a room like this. More so. The good thing is this is going to make a really good book of the dead room. Which we can't use it on because there you go. But that's what we were looking for. Right. Now, all we need to do is manage to get through... Actually, no, we don't. We, it's not even a problem. I was going to say get through one more room without getting hit. But we're playing as this character now, so... We're not going to get hit on the other guy. So we get through one more room. We flip. We go back as uh, that dude. Yeah, ha not having Herming here is a bit upsetting. But I have to say, it's better overall. Right, uh, don't go into the shop yet. I don't think we wait on the shop. So we go all the way back this way. A little bit tedious, but it does protect our angel deal. And I'm hoping the tarot cards and stuff from, from that um, fortune cookie with a one room charge is going to pay off over the course of the whole run. Can give trinkets as well, which is also pretty important. Right. Go through. Little Haunt's actually very nice. A little bonus here. I like I like Little Haunt a lot. I find him very helpful. Bring him to the Pluto. I'll bring him to the Pluto. I don't know what exactly what that said. I don't like this. The soy milk boy. He scares me. Okay, good. We're going to have to do the... Okay, so this is actually kind of good. So we do... We do the boss room, unfortunately, as our weaker character. But we do the boss room here. It's unfortunately Reap Creep. Not a big fan. Have to do that just to get some damage out here. This is probably going to lose our angel deal. Like, I just... This boss scares me in, in ways you cannot even fathom. <laughs> I'm so bad at this boss. I just... There's like three of his attacks that I can't... I can't do. And then on top of that, he's got this stupid mechanic where he just throws out an absurd amount of spiders that are always like timed with his other attacks like this attack like it's not even normal spiders it's stone spiders now he's gonna brimstone and like i've got to deal with all the spiders luckily he killed a lot of them for us uh we gotta remember we gotta give some hp up as well at the end of this for uh, mausoleum not this floor but next floor right so we did get the angel deal so i don't really care about the other item so i think we go in here Fucking Dead Sea Scrolls. We take this as you. We go in here. We grab... We leave, we leave that there for now. Let's just do this. We leave that there for now. Right. Then we come over back to our shop. Bit of a weird method of doing this, but it all makes sense. We come in here. Keeper's sack is fantastic. But again, we don't need to flip here. We don't need to flip. I think, though, what we do is we buy Keeper's Sack. We buy Piggy Bank. Then we flip it anyways. Um, I do, do we do we want Mr. Me? Mr. Me is pretty good. Um, let's, I'm going to take Mr. Me, but then I still think we charge up our flip here for some money. And then we go. We, we've been swapping actives like a, like a crazy person, but I think this is good. Anyways, now because we've flipped, we get to grab Binky as this character. I thought that the flip item disappeared if you didn't flip. I'm, I'm still not going to take that. I, I'd rather keep my flip charge at the minute. Um, and we go down. Okay, this is decent. <laughs> Having to do some mental gymnastics to get this to work, but this is good. Okay, can you fire a little bomb dude at me? There you go. Yes! No! Yes! <laughs> yes! That was so perfect, thank you. And you get the eternal heart. So, health-wise, we're looking fairly decent. 
on both the characters. Damage-wise, this guy is great. Really, really good. Uh, pop that. Yeah, damage-wise, this guy is looking very, very nice. Tinted Rock here as well. I think we just go for that. I, I got hit in the process. This guy needs small rock, and there's little brim if we flip. Oh, we don't have to flip because we just get it. Okay, that's that's really, really good. I was going to flip there, then I realized how that works. It just allows us to flip if there's combat, so also use that. We are going to get a lot, of, um, a lot of these. Oh my god, we are getting good drops right now. We are getting lucky. When this guy's getting hit for some bullshit hits, we're sitting pretty. Oh, god damn, these enemies, the movement. It's so cool, but so bizarre. It hurts my brain. It hurts my little brain. Look to La Luna. It really wants us to sit, like, look at the space or something, doesn't it? It's got a lot of space themed ones. Fuck these. Ah, oh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, my god. Do not like this room, but I think we've, I think we've done it. I don't think that was actually that hard. Believe in yourself. Give me a soul heart. Then I'll believe in myself. Um, I think this is worth at least one bomb. It indeed was. We'll keep that for the other character. Yes, I definitely think that putting down uh, our space bar item here was a good idea. Yeah. Be careful of these guys. It's the split burns that get you. Goddamn. Every time. We will all die one day. That is true. We're taking a few hits as this dude. Evil Eye's actually doing work as this dude as well. Right, um... I don't want to fight the boss as this guy, though. <laughs> this guy... This enemy's mental. Uh, right. Don't lose your head. Let's go fight the boss. We've got Flip ready as well, so if an angel deal should show up. Oh, I, I, I'm so bad at this boss. This is definitely my worst boss in the game, I think. I just don't really understand how to dodge a lot of his patterns. This one especially, I'm really bad at. I just don't know how to predict where he's going to come up. It's somewhat predictable with the underground mod thing we've got going on, but not very. He's almost dead anyways. There you go, we got him. Right, so we don't want to bother flipping for this. I'm honestly not going to go into the devil deal. So I think we I think we take this. I think we try. We try this. Fuck yes! <laughs> that was the only reason I took Mr. Me. And it worked. I'm so pleased with that. I am so pleased with that. Oh my god, yes. Health is looking good. That feels like an absolute big brain play for me. I know it's not even that big brain because it literally does say it opens doors, so that should be how it works. But still, I was like, is this actually going to work? Okay, this is going well. We have good generation of health and everything. Ooh. Anima Solar, though. Right, Fortune Cookie's giving us a lot of HP, but Anima Solar is sick. Anima Solar is so good. So... Although, we'd be trading out the other active, which would be Mr. Me. Hmm. Mm. Um. We need Anima Solar on this guy. We need Anima Solar on this dude. I don't know if there's a way that we can do that. Honestly. I don't know if there is. Because we flip and we just become the other dude and there's no other active items on the floor, right? Ugh. But Anima Soul is so good. So good. I think either way we grab this. And we flip. <laughs> Mr. Me, you've, you, you've served your usefulness. Now I think we go and try and find a way to flip again. Well, first of all, let's check the shop. We might get a battery charge in here. There isn't a battery charge in here. There is, however, a lot of good items. Um, 
down to and right. Secret room could be a way of doing it. So let's maybe look for the secret room. This could very easily be it. Let's uh, check all the walls. Could get com- Yeah, it's got to be there. Could have combat in our secret room. This could be a 48 hour energy or a shot speed up. Damn. We really need a way of flipping. We really need a way of flipping. Because if I could switch over Anima Soul to the other character, that'd be so good. I mean, we'll probably could do it on another floor anyways. I just can't believe the amount of active item trading we've been doing this run. This guy's still, like, pretty powerful, despite the amount of active items we've been getting. Um, but An Anima Sola is, is so unbelievably top tier. Um, looks like we're going to have to leave it for this floor. Looks like there's going to be no way that we can flip. There's no extra combat rooms we can do or anything. Unless we, maybe you can find second secret room and it somehow has combat in it. But I don't even know where second secret room would be, honestly. Let's just leave and, and take it as a bit of an L. Devil Deal, I, I still don't think we go Devil Deal. We make sure we go down this way. We first of all, though, make sure we go and get our knife piece because I did almost forget. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I did almost forget. That would have... There's a fire in there. Good. That would have been tragic if I'd have forgotten. And I'm sure a few of you were absolutely screaming in your head like, what are you doing, fucking moron? Come on. Notice. Oh, wait. Will this allow us to flip? Because this is technically a room. I don't know. I don't know. We're technically doing a room by doing this, so maybe? I really hope it does. But... No, because we need, we need two flips. It's not going to work. We need to have two flips. We need one flip to swap out... Hmm... Yeah, uh, at the minute we need two flips. I've done this. I've, I've I've kind of balked this. I've done this in the wrong order. But anyways, that's a knife piece. Whether we flip or not, whatever. Let's just try and not get hit. Let's try and uh, be patient and do this correctly. So we, we do indeed flip, which is annoying to know now that I've done it wrong. Because I should have left Anima Sola on the pedestal here. That would have been the way to do this. Right. Um. Okay, good. We've done that. Good, we've done that. Ah, oh, that was really, really bad movement by me there, but it worked out. I think that's it. Yep, that's it on that front. Oh shit, you scared the fuck out of me there. You scared the fuck out of me, you bastard. And then we just flipped back anyways. No, no, we didn't. Okay. I did this in the wrong order. I definitely could have done this if I'd uh, if I'd uh, set this up right. But now I've barked it. I didn't realize it would flip us, so... What I should have done is I should have come back over here... Left Anima Sola on this pedestal. Right here. Yep. I, I balked that up a little bit. But hey, her. You live and you learn. Ooh, wee. No, because that's just another active. I need a charge somehow. Damn it. Right. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Anima Sola's still great no matter what character it's on. And we go down. We might get another opportunity to flip it over anyways with another active item, so... Let's just see how it goes. So far, let's just be happy that the run's going well. Do not like the idea of this. Make sure to actually use Anima Solar as well. Why is this guy so slow? What did we get the slowed, this dude? Ow. Don't get hit by the big boy. Almost got hit by the big boy. Fortune cookie. Fortune cookie is still very, very nice to have. That is like the big positive, the big takeaway here. And it's kind of funny because you get fortune cookies from takeaway. <laughs> you get it? And funny. 
Okay, got you. Need to wait for Flip to be ready first. For doing that. Back we go. I'm, yeah, I'm a little dis disappointed with this guy's speed at the minute. That's that kind of the main thing I'm noticing. That was risky as fuck. Why did I do that? Purple pill. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks, Fortune Cookie, for fucking blasting a massive message in the middle of my face. I couldn't see anything. That was very convenient of you. Right, we've got Flip ready. Let's go back to our item room. Right, in here we have... There is a space bar item there. That's good at least. So, I think we do take Luck Foot. Yeah, I think we take... Hmm. How do we do this? Yeah, we, we take Luck Foot like this. Then we flip. And even though the apple is much better, in my opinion... We take, we first of all use this, we get a soul high out of it. We take this. Wait, no. Have I done this wrong again? No, 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 I haven't, because now there's an active item pedestal. Okay, so now we go back. Is this convoluted as shit? I, I will admit to you, it is convoluted as shit, but I'm getting there. So right, now we go back. And we drop Anima Solar here. Come back over this way. And now, now you see, Anima Solar's on a pedestal, and we can pick it up with the character that has 9 volt. It it, it it took it was a long road, but we got there. A long road, but we got there. So now that we've flipped again, we now go back once more. And this guy, speedy motherfucker, grabs Anima Solar. Now he's got Anima Solar. And now we can re-roll this item. Holy shit, I didn't realize it would give us a flip item. I didn't realize it would be fucking Polly. One minute, is Polly still there if we come back in? It is. Okay, let's try and flip and get Polly, shall we? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Was not expecting that. But yeah, now Anima Solar with uh, with the, the half charge of 9 volt. It's going to be amazing. And then we still got Fortune Cookie on a two room charge. So not as good, but still, still very useful. Good, good. Flip is almost ready. I did think, like, I don't know if it's a bug with the mod or I'm just completely misremembering, but I did think that the whole point was the flip item, the reverse item, was meant to disappear if you left the room. But that's obviously not the case right now. So now flip, you get Polly. Pretty good. It's pretty damn good. I mean, when I fire it, it's pretty tragic, but otherwise, I'm pretty happy with this. Right, you go do the boss. And this is who we'll fight Mother with. Do not like the idea of this. Why can you guys fire? Why can't you just run at me? So yeah, then we get you on that. And in two seconds, we do it again. Look at that, that's so good. Against bosses, that's so strong. I realize we're not going to get a flip here, but... That's kind of fine. Uh, we get ourselves a justice card. Right. This has been kind of crazy. This has been kind of crazy. But I think we're doing good. Health-wise, we're doing very good. Way better than we should be doing. I don't know how we're doing so well. I mean, I'm definitely glad that I took Fortune Cookie. I can say that for sure. Fortune Cookie has been a very good grab for us. Um, I don't like this room in the slightest. What do I do? I don't, I don't... Okay, I see, I see. Fucking stop! No, okay, this is bullshit. You've broken it. You've broken the way this room's meant to work, you stupid. Nah, fuck this. Just, just come over here. Fire at me here, please. There you go. Fuck that room. I'm not doing that room. 
I'm gonna have to do that again, though. Okay, I managed to lock down the guy that couldn't move, uh, that couldn't attack. But hey, her. Finally got a card, and it's a justice again. I will do that exact same method again here. He, he stole my bomb. Yeah, terrible, terrible room. The fact that that can break the rocks and just stop the room from working as it should. And I get that that's the point, but it means that you kind of have to step on the spikes to complete the puzzle, right? But I think that's very good. Okay, we got these little licky tongue boys. Or whippy tongue, should I say. Don't like the whippy fellas. Mr. Whippy, very scary. Okay, so this one isn't as bad. We go like that. Like, oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck it. I, I, I'm not good with those blocks. I'm not. My brain, I don't like them. My brain don't like them, I'm telling you. Okay, thank you for that as well. God damn it, worst... Why did we get the worst rooms as the character that can't deal with them? That would have been so much easier with Anima Solo. Like, so much easier. Fuck's sake, these enemies. This floor scares the shit out of me. Do not steal my flip charge. I will cry. Ipecac there? Okay. Um, well, I feel like if we take Ipecac on you, it's going to be kind of crazy. <laughs> Although I feel like we can't take Ipecac on you. Um, does Ipecac, Ipecac does hurt your fire rate, doesn't it? How about we just do this? You can have that. It's black hole. We don't, we don't care for it. Then we flip and you can have that. Because i got to say, yeah, it does hurt your fire rate. Oh, God. We've got such low range. This might be pretty bad. But at least now we can kill things quickly. I was tempted to give it to this guy, but I think it would I think it would literally make his fire rate non-existent. So. And he's already doing a lot of damage. Like, Don't accidentally fire thinking that you're just shooting at the door. Oh, God. His range is so bad. Okay, I am going to grab this um, this item here. Because it gives us stats, but also because it could be amazing. Uh, doubles our bombs is fine. Bonds a bunch of red hearts. So that's, that's definitely the one we hold, Queen of Hearts. <laughs> health is... So, it's, it's, not, it's not bad, but health is somewhat diminishing. It's this guy, because I, I didn't think about his low, low range. Stop making me fight Ragman on normal rooms. His range. It's so bad. It's so bad. Okay. That's very necessary. I don't want to fight the... Um, I don't want to fight the boss as this dude. I need to go. Ipecac just for getting us through the rooms. I've never seen Ipecac with such low range before. <sighs> Alright, so let's head back. Also, while we're at it, let's blow up all these blue fires. Hope for some soul hearts. And skulls. Blow up anything that can give us any sort of advantage. Check for secret rooms as well. Why not? card there. Temperance. I mean, we might as well pop the Temperance and uh, blow it up. Not exactly the best, but there you go. Yeah. Keep going back through. No secret room there. There's a secret room. There's some spiders. Got some extra money here, but it's not super useful for us. Right. Oh, 
God damn, this has been a bit stressful. But then you go, oh, wait. I was going to do this room, but then I realized that this is the stupid challenge room. Um, Is it plausible we can do this room without getting hit? Is the question. I'm going to try it. Okay, it is plausible because we can blow up the rocks. Good. Okay, and we got golden bombs there. Okay, the fact that we could blow up those little rocks and get to that made that a lot easier. But yeah, I want to fight bosses when we got Animus Soul already. I, this guy needs more HP. We have to get more HP for this dude. Second secret room could be in a lot of places here. Eh, uh, some HP there. Nice. Um, second secret could be here. Indeed it is. Good, good. Confessional's not really going to cut it for us. Right. So get in there. Space bar for Anima Solar. Remember, it's not like it is otherwise. Oh, for fuck's sake. I managed to hit an enemy. But you're basically dead anyways, mother. Good, good. We got an angel deal and we have flip available. Um, just You can just have the negative. Why not? We jump in here. Hmm. Do we want the sensor? Because the sensor can screw you. I have seen it happen. It can be very fucky. So maybe we don't want it. So first of all, let's do that and that. So... Grab that as you show kind of low health as well. Light and spectral tears. I don't even think we want the sensi, you know. Because it I've seen it on the mother fight, it can really screw you over. Um, so I'm just not I'm just not gonna take it. Did I did I not get that so hard? No, I picked it up as this this dude, didn't I? So I'm actually gonna flip here. Just so that we can again use um Anima Solar on the boss. It's very, very valuable to us. I mean, this guy just does the most damage anyways. I think even more than, more so than the Ipecac guy. But as you can see, enemies just literally cannot attack while we've got this, this method going on here. So as long as we pay attention to the attack patterns here, we pretty much get free reign most of the time on the boss. Eternal Heart here. Sadly on the wrong character, but it's still good. Right, down we go. This has been a little saucy. Okay, so the blind here is kind of meh. I guess we'll just do this. We got it. Don't know what it is, but we got it. Buddy in a box. Okay. Uh, there's a flip item there available as well. Okay, just remember that this guy's got Ipecac. We now have Flight plus Spectral, which makes things a hell of a lot easier for us. And re also remember that this guy has Anima Solar. It's not useful for every single room. Every single enemy, sorry. But it is mostly going to be pretty good. It is annoying when it does that and just grabs onto like an inanimate enemy. Uh, puberty. Puberty. Friends card here. Ah, oh, what the f- oh, The body was purple because it was feared and I couldn't see it. That's not very nice. What the hell are you locking that down for? There's a big ass chunker here. Look at this dude. And it's like, do you know what? I'm going to lock down that fly, you know. God damn these eyes. The way they move scares me. Stop, stop planting down your little seeds of, of revenge or whatever you want to call it. Anima Soul, I think it just goes for the enemy that you're closest to. I think that's kind of how it prioritizes. Um, Ace of Hearts is potentially good. We need this guy to give some soul hearts. Did we change which baby we have? I think Buddy in a Box is an interesting one because I'm pretty sure every time we change character, it changes which Buddy we have. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. 
Oh, they shoot. Fuck. No. No, 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 no. I just lost two soul hearts to these motherfuckers because I just completely forgot that they shot. Now we've got Jesus. Damn. Health is in a bad spot now. Well, well no. We're still on the second bar. It's not bad. It's just nowhere near as good as it should be. It should be better. It should be better. Maybe made a mistake there, I'm not gonna lie. Are these guys off sync now? No, it's okay. Come on, please give us some hearts. Get us to the boss fight now as well. Ipecax a pretty bad item to have on these floors, I gotta say. It's just not working out at all for us. Okay, this guy does not have flight. Let's run. Oh, no. I am taking some really, really bad damage right now. This guy's got more health now, which is kind of terrible. Desperately need HP. Right, we are fighting the bosses this, dude. That's good. It's going to be rock good. No, it's not. Okay. That's actually good for us because we can do a bit of this. Okay, he, that attack does not stop when he stops. Again, good to know. Again, that attack does not stop when he does. Good to know. Soul heart, soul heart, soul heart. Yes, managed to get it before it's flipped. Right, I think we just go grab. We got range up. We needed that so desperately. And we flip and just grab that. And yes, I was really hoping it'd be red health. Because we have this queen of hearts. Red health is super valuable for us. It might pay out with one red heart, but it could pay out with 12. Okay, okay, We th there's a chance. We just got to make sure to fight the boss as the right dude. And remember, if we get too low on health, you can flip. So if, as long as we have a flip charge, if things do get a little much in the boss fight, we can flip over and, like, utilize our second health pool. Okay, that's good. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, my God. Good giddy god, I'm retarded. These, to be fair, these enemies with Ipecac are just really tough. I'm still giving all the health to you until until the other guy looks like he's going to die. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, if I hit myself with Ipecac again, I am going to kill myself. Uh, Baby Bender's really good here. Homing on you's not exactly the best thing in the world, but it's pretty nice. How, how, how are you not dead? I'm very annoyed we went the wrong way. I'm quite scared at this current moment in time. Y'all have been maggots at me, please stop. Really don't like playing this guy. I'm, again, very annoyed we went the wrong way here. Please stop making me go the wrong way. We do have, we do have some red hearts in reserve back there, so that's good. We have a strength card as well if we need it. It's just very annoying that I went completely the wrong way here. Okay, don't forget that this guy shoots. Don't forget that. My goodness. Oh god, the stress is building. Stars card does nothing for us here. Don't like this at all. Should be okay though. That is a champion, so be careful. Please, just one extra soul heart would be so nice. The sun? Okay. We want to take that as our other dude. Okay, just stay. 
stay still and chill. Stay still and chill. This is horrible. Can, can the poison go away? Right, now you want to take that. That sun card's very valuable for you. Oh, oh, literally not much I could do against that. Right. We are the right character when we're entering. So we want to go in, pop Queen of Hearts immediately, and then um, just use Anima Solar or a fuck ton. That's, that's kind of the game plan here. That's a lot of hearts. Make sure we're near his middle segment as well, because you can lock down the arms. There we go. you got to make sure to lock down the middle segment, because locking down his arms does nothing. It's no good. Yeah, got hit there. That's fine. Only thing is, it's kind of hard to predict what attack he's going to do next, because you don't get to see the full thought of thing in play. Okay, I know which one he's going to do here. This is a lot of arm shits. Little arm wigglies. I love the animation for that attack. So good. Oh, God. He got me. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, next phase. That's good. This phase can be a bit weird with Anima Solar, so we've got to be careful. If you lock her down during the wrong attack, she does some weird stuff. Okay, we don't want to be here. Ah, ah, ah. I got hit way too much. Okay, this, I don't believe that Anima Soloring this attack does anything, so don't even bother. This attack is still going to continue after the fact as well, so get ready. This gives us a lot more time to attack here. A lot more time to attack. Oh my god. Stress. Stress incarnate here. You should be near dead now, to be honest. We should be pretty close. Really? Again? I thought, I thought, I don't know, it's the same attack again there, but it turns out it's just the attack wasn't finished. Okay, this one is another one that you don't want to Anima Solar, apparently. Now we can, though. Come on, you got to be close. you got to be close, lady. Okay, get ready, because he's going to throw that ball at us as soon as he gets unanimous. Undodgeable. Oh, no, no, I'm a, I'm a god. I'm a god. Don't worry. I'm a god. Yep, there you go. Anima Solar for the win. Anima Solar 9 Volt is insanely powerful. And there you go. Torn card is done and Tainted Lazarus is completed. 100%ed. Done. There you go. Very, very, very happy. No more Tainted Lazarus for us at all. Hope you guys enjoyed, even with, with the reworked modded version. And I will see you guys in the next one.